Hey, it's Jeff TC3. Today we're going to rebuild a carburetor on a TRX 250EX. This particular one's an 03, but they're more or less all the same. There's the carburetor. I've removed the air box. Now there's just a couple of 10 millimeter nuts that you need to take off that hold this on to the cylinder. This is a very small, simple style key in carburetor that comes stock on this quad. You'll need to take off your fuel line as well. Make sure you turn your pet cock off first or else you'll get a bath in gasoline. Uh, unscrew your slide. Pull that out, be careful with it. I just kind of drape it over the frame there. Any other 10 millimeter bolt, and you should be able to get this off. Alright. So now you're still going to have your throttle linkage holding it. So you're going to pull your throttle cable off, little Phillips head screw that holds the cable. And then just take your uh, cable off the uh, carburetor. There we go. On the bottom of this, there's a drain screw. Uh, if you just back that off, the gas will come out your overflow uh, hose. And you can just drain that. Yeah. And this way when you take your float ball off, it won't just end up in your lap. There's three Phillips head screws holding the ball on. Uh, just remove them. Use a decent screwdriver so you don't strip the heads. So that should just pull off now. There we go. Okay, here's the carb rebuild kit I bought. This one's uh, from Moose. And uh, it's just going to rebuild a stock carb. This is not uh, to hop it up or anything like that. Pull your air mixture screw out. There we go. And inside there, there's a spring that didn't come out with that. I'll have to get that out. And there's an O-ring, and there was supposed to be an O-ring on the bottom part of that as well. That didn't come out, so I'll have to take that out as well. This is the baffle. This goes around the uh, main jet. Okay, so here's the old with the new, and they're in the package, so you're going to put them in now. Before you take the old one out, you should uh, put it in to see how many turns it is. Like if it's one and a half turns, that's where you want to start from when you put your new one in. All along the way here, I'm cleaning this with carburetor cleaner. I'm not showing that because it's one. The, the video would take forever then. Anyway, so I put the new jet in, and I back it off to what it was. It was one and a half. There's a little pin that holds your float balls in. Uh... After you push it, you don't actually have to take it all the way out. You can kind of leave it in that housing. And the, f and the floats will pull out, but they're going to have the plunge valve with them. Uh, it hangs from the plastic underneath. And you're going to install the new one that came with your kit in that. Now I'm going to pull out the pilot jet that's kind of like your idle jet. And we'll replace that with the new one. It is the same size. All these were clogged. You couldn't even see through the holes. This Honda, when I first started, would not even run. It was sitting for a few years. It was pretty bad. So we get the new one and put it in there. Uh, that's just brass. You do not have to tighten that very much. You can strip it really easy, so don't do that. Okay, this is going to be your main jet. And 
that's what they call the holder. So you're going to grab a hold of the holder and then take your main jet out as just like a little tiny screw. That's it. And you're going to replace that with the new one. Okay, so you're going to put that in the holder and put the holder back into the body of the carburetor. There we go. And again, you don't have to tighten this real tight. We're talking about brass and aluminum. It's not going to come loose. You don't need to go crazy. Just a little snug on it. That's it. Okay, here's the float and here's the new plunge valve. I'm not sure if they call that a plunge valve or not. Uh, I think that's what Kian calls it. Anyway, when you put this back in, that's going to slide into uh, your fill hole that uh, where your gas is going to fill your carburetor bowl. There's really only one place it can go. You can't mess it up. And then you're going to knock that pin back in and through, and that's what the uh, floats are going to pivot on. Okay, that was kind of a big hammer for that job, but it was... <laughs> what I had on the desk so okay so just make sure it's all the way in now uh, in the kit also is the ceiling gasket so take your new gas take the old one out just put a flathead screwdriver under pry it up put the new one in this will make a better seal for you and there's also one uh, that can go on your bowl uh, it'll be the shape of that so that one's a little tougher to get off but you take that off put the new one on and you're gonna put this called a baffle it only goes on one way there's a little slot and that just slides on where your main jet is uh, there's nothing that screws it in or anything it just goes after you put the uh, float bowl on it can't go anywhere I'm not exactly sure what that does, but I do know this. If you don't have it on there, it won't run exactly right. So you got to put all your screws back in your bowl. Make sure the two surfaces are clean or the bowl go into the main part of the carburetor so that that new uh, O-ring gasket can make a good seal. And you're just going to screw them in and snug them up. Again, this is aluminum. People like to just really lean into this. You don't need to. I'm not saying leave it loose, but uh, yeah, you don't need to strong arm this. Okay, make sure your mounting surface is clean on your cylinder as well. You just put that back on. You're going to take your two 10 millimeter nuts and tighten them back up. See, it's got a little bit of a rubber mount. See how that gives a little bit. Okay, you're going to reattach your fuel line. Then you'll take your little squeeze clamp and put that back down on so it's nice and tight. I put a fuel filter on this one because the inside of the bowl was disgusting. I didn't show you all that. This carburetor was a mess. Okay, when you put your slide back down in, uh, just spin it. There's a notch that that will slide down. It won't go down until you have it in the right spot. So, And then you're just going to tighten the cap. You already attached the throttle cable. So turn your pet cock. Open your drain screw I showed you earlier until gas comes out the overflow hose. Then close the screw back up. That will help the carburetor bolt to be full of gas and ready to start. I just left the needle jet the same because there was nothing wrong with it. And she started right up. It wouldn't run at all when we first started, so success, not that big of a project. Thanks for watching.